this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings and today we're going to make a molded layer Christmas card. We're going to start with a piece of cardstock, white cardstock that will be our base. It came from an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper cut in half, which makes it five and a fourth by four, excuse me, five and a half by four and a quarter. Next layer is going to be uh, my solid red layer. It's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So uh, instead of cutting a fourth off or all the way around, I've cut an eighth. I'm using Elma's rubber cement. The rubber cement makes it possible for me to move my cardstock around and get it in position without tearing the paper. Uh, using tape sometimes, um, it's hard to move your paper around. That's my first layer. My next layer is gonna be this printed piece. And it is um, five and a fourth by four. And you will notice that as I put the different layers on, that there's only a very small border around. We'll put this one on now. And it will have a border just about like the other one. So, as of right now, we have uh, three layers down. And when you first look at it, it doesn't look like a, a Christmas card paper, but we shall make it uh, look like one. Next, I'm going to take this piece of uh, white cardstock, and um, I, it is three and a fourth by three and three fourths. This will be a nice substantial card on the front because it's, it'll have so many layers. And it just happens, I can make sure this is definitely in the middle of my card because I have my design here and as long as I have the same design on each side, it's in the middle. My next layer is the red again. Now, before I work with this, I'm going to put, uh, well, it's not really a cinnamon, but it, it is uh, a, a greeting. It just says December the 25th, and I'm going to put that in the corner on a mat. I'm going to put this little thing on here, make sure the red is evenly placed around it. There we go. And this will be placed in the corner. I could put a dimensional underneath this, but um, since there's so many layers of cardstock, I'm going to put it on here flat. And I want it in the very corner, tip corner, touching in the red on each side, at least on the two sides. And I have that. Next is the big part of my, um, the focal point of my card. And that's gonna be this wreath. Uh, to get the glue on it, I'm going to use this um, art glitter glue because it has a, a tip edge and I can just put a drop or two in different places on my um, 
wreath. Another way to do this would have been to run it through the Zyron, but then it kind of has that sticky residue left on it. So this is the way I decided to put my wreath on. And I'm going to place it fairly close to the top of my square. Next is decide where I want my bow. Now, I could either have my bow here, I could have my bow at the top, or I could have my bow over to the side. And I think because I have this over to the right, I'm going to balance it by having the bow to the side. But I'm going to wait and just leave it here like this until I get my greens on. Next, we'll put the greens on, and I'll use that sa the same glue to put the branches. This is a die cut. Oh, excuse me. This is a punch that I recently got. And what I'm going to do is just start one side and go around. Now, I will probably fast forward with this so that you can see what I'm doing but without having spent so much time. just about got enough greenery on my uh, wreath. Now I could have also left the wreath just like it was. It was pretty like it was and just put the bow on it or just put the bow with one or two sprigs. But I chose to put all the greenery all the way around the wreath this time. So I'm going to get my bow here. And I'm gonna put it in the corner. Now, since I did not have holly leaves, I didn't have any berries, but you can also put berries in with your green, real greens, when, you know, artificial berries on your um, wreath on the front door even though you may not have actually holly. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting my little berries want to move around. The nice thing about this glue is that it, it will dry quickly. And I think since I've got two here, I'm going to take one of them off and put one down here. And there's my card. I think it's a very Christmassy card, even though my pattern at first didn't look like Christmas. But um, 
I'm really pleased with it. It has one, two, three layers here with two more layers on top. So this is a five layered card. I hope you liked this tutorial and liked my card. If you did, please make a comment and please come back and see me because we will be doing some more Christmassy stuff in the next couple of weeks. So with that, have a great crafting day and uh, come back and see me. Bye.